Hello, this is Jonah Gaska, Manager of Academic Support and Multimedia Services here at LaSalle College. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to get started using the projector and the typical projector control setup in most of the classrooms on campus. So when you get into the classroom, the first thing you'll need to do is to log into the computer. I've already done that um, for this demo. And then the next step is to use this projector control uh, page here to turn the projector on. Um, you can either say projector on or you could just click right on whatever source you'd like to use. Most of the rooms have a computer in the room, a laptop input port, which can also uh, be used to connect your iPad with the VGA adapter, and they also have a DVD VCR. Some other rooms are also equipped with a document camera and um, other specialty software depending on the space. The full lists of what software is installed where can be found on the MyLaSol page by clicking on the Offices and Services link and then under the, the Information Technology and finally Classroom and Lab Technology. This is where we keep the latest software list by lab and space and also current technology by classroom. So if you're teaching in a new classroom and you're not sure what's in there, this is a great reference. We update this each semester, so I uh, would definitely reference this whenever you're teaching in a room that you're not familiar with. So to get back to the projector controls, to turn it on, you just click on whatever source you want. If you happen to close this screen, you can also relaunch it um, from the desktop just by clicking this projector controls link. Um, right now this is currently only on the desktop so if you start going in the start menu this connect to a projector um, will actually give you this option to extend the projector or um, show only on the computer this needs to be left on duplicate otherwise you won't be able to see the same image on the computer and also on the projector all right, so this is almost finished warming up. Once the system is warmed up, you can then turn the volume up and down, um, mute the, vo the volume entirely, or turn the picture mute on. What that does is it makes the projector just show blue, or you could turn on the logo if that's what you would prefer. Um, so if you want to bring up something confidential that you're not showing it to the whole class, you could do that and then easily go back to the room PC or DVD player source. Um, if you do have a DVD that you would like to play, you can just insert it and then use these controls um, as the remote control. Um, so you just pop it in, select DVD VCR, and then you can do up and down to navigate the menu or play, pause, rewind, fast forward. So that's a basic overview of how to get started with the projector system. One other thing I'll mention is that these systems are on a two hour timer um, in an effort to be green and to save on energy and on uh, bulb life, we've set the timer. Every button click on this page resets that timer. So it starts at two hours when you turn it on and then any button click that you press on here resets that timer. So if you come in and you bring up your PowerPoint and you're um, going through uh, and your class goes for more than two hours, it's something to keep in mind that you might wanna just uh, press this volume key up or down or toggle between the source at some point. Um, otherwise, the system will automatically turn off and basically it'll say projector is cooling down and it'll seem like it just turned off automatically but it actually turned off because uh, we've set it up to, um, to operate that way. Well I hope this has been useful. If you have any questions or need to reach out to us you can call us at 617-243-2200 or email helpdesk at and I'm signing off. Have a good one.